What do you do when you're 3,000 miles from New York and you're jonesing for some wings? Now, not just any wings, but New York Buffalo Wings. That's easy. Stop on by your nearest New York Buffalo Wings. Located in La Mesa, San Diego, and Imperial Beach, you're just minutes away from mild, hot, or make you cry like a baby hot sauce. Wings, fall off the bone ribs, and fire hot chicken tenders. To find the nearest New York Buffalo Wings, go to nywingsandribs.com. That's nyribsandwings.com. Show. Utilizing medical doctors, physical therapists, and chiropractors all working together to better your health, Silver Strand Spine and Sport is committed to providing the most personalized, integrative, and skilled physical therapy services available. With sensitivity and compassion, we work with our patients to promote physical rehabilitation in a professional and caring environment. Located on Palm Avenue in Imperial Beach, we offer South Bay the finest care for all your physical needs. For an appointment, call 619 575 8887. Hey, Susanna. Hey. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Johnny Angel. I threw you a little curve there, huh? <laughs> did you see how I, you didn't even see my lips move, did you? I know, it was so weird. It was like the voice of God was back. I know. You know, <laughs> you know they're playing our theme song. You familiar with the song? Johnny Angel? I know. Do you know who did it? Oh, come on. <laughs> no idea? No idea. How about I love my guest? Do you know her? She's too young. I know. She's, she's too young. She's too young for that. That's but do our you re- era. But do you remember? Oh, yeah. Who? Who did it? No. no. Well, then, don't point at her that she doesn't know. If you don't know, it was Shelly Fabre. Well, was it? Yeah, really? it was Shelly Fabre, oh, and she okay. used to be uh, the Father Knows Best, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And they came to her one day, and they said, Ooh, can you sing? And she goes, no, I can't sing. Well, they're not going to be on the show. And she goes, well, I can sing. <laughs> and then she did that song, Johnny Angel, right to number huge. one. Exactly, it because huge. it had to deal with death. Your name. Exactly. Right. Well, death. <laughs> it was death. <laughs> yeah. It was. So anyway. It's Romeo and Juliet. There you go. Now, that's not the reason we called, is it? No. No. So, Su- okay. Susanna, you have a lovely young lady next to you. I'd like and to introduce her. Would you please? Yes. Uh, so here I have Patricia Frischer. She's the coordinator of the San Diego Visual Arts Network. Patricia Fisher. Frischer. Frischer. Throw an R in there. Frischer. It's a it's a poetic name to be sure. Yes. It wasn't. It wasn't. I wasn't supposed to be called Patricia Frischer. I was supposed to be called Patty Frischer by my mother and father called me Patty as I was growing up but when I moved to England and I got a job in a gallery in the West End it London It was no longer Patty, it was Patricia you couldn't be a Patty. I could not be a Patty, that was an Irish skivvy Exactly And that was not allowed, so I came into my own and became Patricia again Well I think that's a very melodic name Thank you And you know they say, oh hey we've got to call the Patty Wagon because <laughs> all these notes there You know that's a derogatory term Yes it is yeah, Most people don't know that, mm-hmm. calling it a Patty Wagon mm-hmm. yeah. so, But there again not the reason we called. <laughs> so I just wanted to point out what a lovely name you have. Thank you. And it's very poetic, very flowing. But, I uh, like saying it. Yeah. So, uh, Susanna, why don't you uh, <coughs> take over for a minute? So, Patricia Frischer. Yes. <laughs> yes, Susanna. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the San Diego Visual Arts Network and um, what, who, what is this organization? What do you do? Well, the organization really started as a resource directory for all the visual arts because when I first came to San Diego which was about 16 years ago I went to the Museum of Contemporary Art and I asked for the directory for the visual arts because I had moved here from London and they had a huge magazine that was published yearly and monthly with all the visual arts in it and at the Museum of Contemporary Arts they laughed at me and said there is no such thing so as I discovered more and more of the really wonderful rich resources that we have in San Diego, I decided we needed to have a resource directory here as well. And lots of people joined together with me, and I hit it just at the right time where it became a website instead of an actual publication. And uh, how many members? Now, we're not actually a member organization, or not members, but, uh, but we have over 2,100 visual arts resources listed on our website. And then we also uh, very quickly put on an events calendar and I think we've had something like 15,000 events listed on the site since wow. we started. That's wonderful and so who, who uses this? Is it sort of, is it contractors who are looking for, uh, is it gallerists, contractors, artists? It's all of the, all of the above but the, I think the 
um, one of the largest audiences we have are people that are looking for visual arts events in San Diego that are not within the arts community as well who want to know what's going on where can I go what can I where can I find out what's going on okay hey you know what um, we're gonna take a a real quick tiny break. little break yeah we're gonna talk about motorcycles okay you like motorcycles <laughs> don't you I do yeah who's do. the best who's the best Sweetwater Harley Davidson exactly because they have Harley Davidsons and they have uh, apparel and if you need your motorcycle prepared Oh, well, you're gonna need some some motorcycle gear now that you have right because uh, that you're riding on two wheels exactly yeah and uh, so I'm gonna be going over there for parts and uh, it's right near the hospital where I'll probably have to be going for uh, <laughs> more parts. yeah for more, for parts. more parts exactly <laughs> you're such a rebel Johnny no but they're uh, they're <laughs> you know I'm a member of the Mongols now did I tell you that yeah they accepted my application and so uh, yeah I'm waiting for the initiation but it's been a boyhood dream boyhood dream to always be a Mongol and look at you now I know so um, if you're looking for anything related to motorcycles you got to go over to Sweetwater Harley Davidson and they're at uh, sweetwaterharley.com and they're on Hooper Avenue and in National City. In National City. And it's a, you see a big triangle sign that stretches out into the sky. And it says Harley Davidson Sweetwater. That's what we're talking about. So go in there and talk to my buddy Jim or Mariana. Or um, there's one other person, and it's Anastasia. Hmm. That's <sighs> where all the tough people hang out. I know. That's where I'm going to hang out. Oh, so guess what? We're back. We are kind of oh, back. Kinda? Yeah, we are back. Uh, do you know who's uh, singing this song? Oh, wow. Now, this young lady. I don't think I've ever gotten it right, I know. actually. Well, guess who did it? Go ahead. Guess who did it? You took me by Go ahead. Guess who did it? Oh, it's Neville Brothers, isn't you it? No, I'm telling you, guess who did it? Oh, guess who? I've yes. been telling you yes. the whole time. <laughs> guess who did it? Man? You're just not listening to me. <laughs> listening to me. But as long as you're laughing, and that's good. Hey, uh, we're back. Yes. And uh, you're talking to this lovely young lady yes. about these, uh, the uh, this, directory, yes, if you will. Yes, it's, it's, sort of it's sort of a directory, and, um, and so it's a wonderful resource. So if you're an artist out there, you need to create a profile. Right, you up. do. And so um, we have over a 1,000 artists listed on the site. So yes, indeed, it is a place for you to be able to find artists. And it started as a visual, it started in the visual arts. Has is it, it only, it, no. Is it only visual? We've restricted it to the visual arts. Okay. It's all we could take on because it's really quite large. Because very quickly after we did our events calendar, we started to do projects. We were very lucky. We got some very healthy donations and we were able to get grants and to support a lot of projects. So one of those projects is the San Diego Art Prize. Yes, um, let's which, talk about that. Yeah, it, and it, it's, it was basically based on the Turner Art Prize, which is mm -hmm. one of the most renowned art prizes in the world. But we did a, new, a very interesting new twist in San Diego. We have a mentoring program. So not only do we pick artists of excellence, but we ask them to choose emerging artists as well. And they mentor those emerging artists and they have two opportunities to show with them. One at the Art San Diego Fair, which is in November, and um, the wonderful Athenaeum Gallery in La Jolla Beautiful Step space. Forward, and also host an exhibition of all the, the, the recipients, four recipients a year. And how long does the mentorship take place for, for a period of what time? Well, it's just between the time that they choose their artist and then during the course putting together those exhibitions. Mm -hmm. And so we like to think that the um, established artists, it gives them a chance to give back to the community, to give a hand up to emerging artists. So you might ask, where did we find the emerging artists? Yes. Well, the prize... Who chooses them? The and, and what qualifies a person as an emerging artist? So we don't decide that. What we do is every year we have a changing committee of people that make the decision about who's nominated. We like to think that everybody that's nominated is deserving of the prize. So it's the four artists from the previous year plus the four art professionals that have written about those artists that are the nominators for the next year. But 
The first year that we uh, had nominations of emerging artists, uh, Doug Semey from Semey Gallery stepped forward and said, I'll put on an exhibition of all the emerging artists, whether they are chosen or not chosen. And every year, another sales gallery in San Diego has stepped forward. This year, it's the brand new Sparks Gallery. And what a beautiful space. Beautiful space. Wow, we Thank you for speak. coming. Yeah. Yes, it's a gorgeous space. And where is that located? It's a couple blocks uh, south of... Uh, Market, market on 6th Avenue, 530 6th Avenue. And the show this year is on from um, Monday. It starts on Monday, open to the public on Monday, and goes until the 30th of June. There is a reception on Saturday night from 7 to 10. Yeah, it opens this weekend, mm -hmm. officially. That's right. And are and there tickets available for this? Um, you can go in. And that this is the wonderful thing about the visual arts. All of our listings on the San Diego Visual Arts Network are free to whoever wants to make a listing on the site. And almost every exhibition that you go to in San Diego is also free for the visual arts. There is a wonderful uh, panel discussion that's going to be taking place on the 20th with the um, established artists that got the prize for 2013. And that's the most wonderful James Hubble that it yeah. the most most people know about the architect and June designer. 20th. What time? June 20th from um, 6 o'clock to 8.30 and that's limited seating. That's um, that's um, um, $20, 20 a seat. Okay. And also it will be with the other art prize winners which are Debbie and Larry Klein. They're going to be talking about different new materials and art and architecture. Oh, what great people to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, wonderful. They, they work with fantastic materials yes. and do amazing things with them. Yes, they do. And um, so what, when you when this uh, San Diego Art Prize began, what were some of the goals of the, what did you, what did you want to see happen? Well, you know, um, I think that it was very important for San Diego to realize that it had art stars right here. Most people think, oh, well, you have to go to New York or London or mm. Paris or even Japan, Tokyo, um, someplace else, but you can actually f find artists that are of excellent quality in San Diego, and we wanted to shine a light on them. And so over the course of the last seven years, we've done just that. I think if you look at the, the go to the website and look at Please the catalogs. Please tell us your website. It's, it's um, uh, the, the, you can use the abbreviation, which is SD for San Diego, V-A-N, so it's SD Van. San Diego Visual Arts Network dot net. So SDVan.net. Dot dot net. Right. And also really quickly we have about a minute left. You wanted to mention the DNA of creativity? Yes. So another future project that we're doing is where we've combined artists with scientists and we've made four teams um, that have multiple of both uh, people on them. And they're inspiring each other. They are indeed, and those shows are going to be at the Oceanside Museum of Art, because we cover the entire county of San Diego, yes. from Fallbrook all the way down to Baja, and including Baja Norte. Yeah, and uh, we're expecting that show when? Probably in the spring of 2014, because we've been working on it now for almost two years. That's amazing. It's a huge project, and it's going to be very, very exciting. It's turning STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, into STEAM by adding the arts. Yeah. Well, you're going to come to the show uh, before that, right? And be a guest before that, right? Oh, I'd love to. Yes, thank you very much. That goes without saying. Yeah, we're going to need you uh, to talk about that yeah. when it comes up. Right. Now, uh, is this young lady for another break after this? Or, or uh, are we saying... Are we saying no, goodbye? No, actually, we're saying goodbye. Oh, right now. well, talk about the sad part of the show. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you taking the time to come out and Thank talk you. to us. Thank and, you so much. And I hope you had fun. We had a we had a ball, and <laughs> we want to remind people that going to see art exhibitions is really really fun. Lots of drinking. <laughs> you know, you lots of good viewing and walking to weird people. <laughs> exactly. You have me at break. Hey, <laughs> we have to go. And this is Johnny. And this is Susanna. With the talk of San Diego. If you're looking for authentic Mexican food, we don't want to sit and wait in the three hour line at the border. Then why not come down to El Cilantro, Mexican and Seafood? At El Cilantro, we pride ourselves in serving the freshest, most delicious Mexican food and seafood this side of the border. In a relaxed, comfortable Spanish atmosphere, you will be sure to enjoy anything you choose. Tacos, burritos, carne asada, carnitas, seafood, all with a taste that will make you think you are just three miles south of here in TJ. But no long lines. 
voted Best Mexican Restaurant by the Taca San Diego. El Cilantro is located at Imperial Beach Shopping Plaza, just off the 5 at 764 13th Avenue and Palm Avenue. It's muy bueno. 